Commission, the Joint Research Center, and the European Commission. Those are heavily damaged or completely destroyed. We had the imagery after the disaster and before the earthquake. It allows targeting of assistance much more effectively so that we know where the most affected areas are so that you can, for the reconstruction can happen more quickly, so that you can rebuild the homes more quickly and rebuild everything much at a much more rapid pace. The event in Chile is much larger, uh, even though there was not as many fatalities, is a much larger area than, than uh, Port-au-Prince. And the use of this uh, network uh, of volunteers is going to be extremely useful to be able to uh, remap and reassess the damage in, in, in just a few weeks. Now we're primarily at the stage of satellite imagery, mm -hmm. which is about the ability to do building by building damage assessment. As far as I'm concerned, I wanted to be involved uh, in, in the work that is being done because it just uh, touches my heart and, and to you know, know that I'm actually making a difference on what's happening and I'd love to do more. And it's actually a combination of uh, topographic information we were able to collect from the plane as well as the very high resolution. And we can actually see the area. So you have the, the roads along there. So you can actually see, if we're coming in up here, you have the